If you take black metal and punk, slap that shit together, you get spider. Now I thought it was spitter, basically spider with a T. Now you are probably thinking, punk, like the Ramones, Blink-182, Sum-41, Green Day? No, as much as I like the Ramones, that is pussy shit compared to some of the punk out there. And Sum-41, Blink-182, and Green Day? Are you fucking shitting me? You couldn't catch me listening to such horse shit. Spider is a band from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. While when they were formed is not known, at least on Metal Archives, they did release an EP in 2021 and a full-length album in 2022 titled Bathe the Babe in Bat's Blood which I'm going to review today. This album was released in June of 2022 through Hell's Headbangers Records, and I've mentioned Hell's Headbangers on here in the past, and they are one badass label. The album features Richard Spider on guitars and vocals, Bat on bass, and Snake on drums. Now, Richard Spider is a stage name or alias of Richard Benson, who has also played in two other bands, Nuke and Shitfucker. In the band Nuke, he is known as Richie Riot, and Shitfucker, he is the bassist and vocalist under the alias Demon Bitch. Bat, the bassist, has played in bands like Cape of Bats and Devil Master, which I see a lot of people talk about Devil Master these days, and I've only heard a handful of songs, and I thought they were okay. They are part of Relapse Records, which the track record of them, at least to me, is not very good. Bathe the Babe in Bat's Blood features 10 songs, and they are Suicidal Bloodfucker, Phantoms, Tortured Soul, Transylvania Night, Foreshadow, Living Nightmare, Full Satanic Power, Cursed Eternal, Spider Biter, and Debauchery. The album length is 35 minutes and 39 seconds, and the songs are from the 2 to 5 minute range. Now, I first came across this band not too long ago. I was listening to something on YouTube, and I seen it pop up on the suggestion bar, so I gave the album a listen, and I thought, holy fucking shit, what is this? Now, as you know, I prefer the genres of black metal, thrash metal, and even that raw, kick-ass punk energy. One band that I have mentioned on here quite a bit is Midnight. That band is fucking killer, and while this is heavier, darker, and even faster, it's right up my alley of kick-ass metal. Although on their Facebook page, the band calls themselves True Vampiric Metal Punk. This album was recorded at Mercenary Studio, and it was mixed by Noah Buchanan. Now, as you can see in the footage throughout this review, Spiter uses a theatrical sense, not just jeans, band t-shirt, and long hair. They go the route of corpse paint and all that crazy shit, which some bands can really pull it off, and as far as I'm concerned, Spider definitely does. While it's not as theatrical in a stage show type of sense, they just fucking rip. Sadly, I've never seen them live, but it would be badass to catch them up in the Pacific Northwest. The first track I want to talk about is Suicidal Bloodfucker, which is the opening track of the album. Now, the song starts out with a keyboard intro, sounds like some Dracula shit going on here, and I fucking love it. Then you get the music itself. This is where your face gets ripped off and your bitch gets her neck ripped out by a goddamn vampire. Straightforward, in your face, kick-ass punk style with a raw sound. The drums and the guitar riffs are fucking killer. Richard Spider's vocals are raw, in your face fucking you up along with his guitar riffs. The drum work by Snake is bashing your skull in. And of course, Bat's bass work is fucking killer. One thing about Richard Spider's vocals, it has that black metal rough style. And what a fucking kick-ass way to start this album out. The next track I want to talk about, track three, Tortured Soul. That combination of the opening guitar riffs along with the bass just oozes kick-ass punk. Another in-your-face song, right to the point, no bullshit, no flower power garbage. If you think this band is going to slow down and talk about rainbows, peace, and love, go fuck yourself. One thing I always pointed out in my album reviews is the drums. And throughout the whole album, I think Snake nails what they're going for here. And this song might be my favorite on this album with his drum work.
Track six, Living Nightmare. Now this is where the band changes it up a little bit. You get this drum beat opening, which sounds similar to Iron Man by Black Sabbath. Even just a quick second of the opening guitar riff too. I'm guessing this is paying homage to a legendary band like Black Sabbath, but then the riff changes up a bit. This time it's a slight slowdown in the beginning and you get this nice intro with some shrieks and growls by Richard Spider that sounds like a demon has possessed his body and is ready to bite your fucking head off. Then of course the song picks up and you get that speed, that raw power, and it's in your face once again. I love how they changed it up here. Living Nightmare is the longest track on this album, just a little bit over five minutes, and obviously the intro is a good bit of that, and that's fine because I fucking think it's killer. The final track I want to talk about is Spider Biter, which is track 9 on this album. Now it starts off with a nice little thrashy style riff, and then you just get your face peeled off. Blast beats, high shrieking vocals, and not giving a fuck if you still have any blood left in your lifeless body. This song is very intense, and it's definitely one of my favorite songs on this album in general. Bathe the Babe in Bat's Blood fucking kicks ass. End of story. I should just end the review now. The production is fucking killer. It's not overproduced and it's not unlistenable garbage. It's perfect. The album has a raw style. The guitar work is fucking killer. The drum work by Snake is damn good. Bat's bass work fucking rules. And of course, Richard Spider's vocals are what you want in an album like this. The only issue I have, it's too fucking short. 35 minutes of intense kick ass black metal and punk mixture. You start from the first track and by the time it's done, you are begging for more. You are like that slut that just wants to suck your soul out and she does and she still wants more come for a first full-length album from this band they nailed it here in fucking simple as far as i'm concerned if you like extreme metal go pick this album up it's worth it i'm glad i own it and you can get it through the band on their Bandcamp page which i will put in the description box below or you can go over to hell's headbangers and pick this up on cd or even vinyl not only that they have t-shirts too which is pretty damn cool if spider ever comes to your area go out and support them bang your head and then after the show, bang your broad. I have a strong feeling Spider is going to be like Midnight for me. They are going to be one of those bands that will never leave my playlist. And I can't wait to hear what else they have in store in the future. Well, that is it for this review of Spider's first full-length album, Bathe the Babe in Bat's Blood. Thank you for watching. You motherfuckers kick ass.